This is one of the most simple golf swing takeaway lessons you'll have. So how to improve your takeaway. It's gonna help you get that club started in a better path to help you longer straighter iron shots. You can use it with your driver as well, but we're gonna dedicate a bit more to iron today. When it comes to simple golf lessons, this is one of them. And we're gonna try and get rid of these and this and all these kind of actions and get you started how you mean to go on. So let's establish some kind of ideas with takeaway. So how we pull the club away from the golf ball, how we start the swing, and the reason it can influence so much is because, I mean, it's as basic as if I was to pick the club up this side, hitting the ball out in front of me here, this is set in a theme for coming back this side, which might create spins and shots that go offline, unless I have some redirection and rerouting, which can work. Like you will see the world's best players get in some different positions, but unfortunately we're not the world's best players. So what happens when we get in a mess early, quite often we can't recover and it's just they kind of scramble to get any kind of recovery from the positions we've got in to actually hit the shot, which is why we see all these funny impact positions. So if we can establish that we want somewhere along the lines of a takeaway when it reaches first parallel to be somewhere parallel to our ball to target line. So when we're parallel to the ground, we should be in line with our ball to target line with the club. So we don't want it stuck behind. We don't want it too far out in front. We certainly don't want hands out, club back. And then the next thing we want is some kind of level of club face control. So where the face is pointing a fraction down towards the ground is a good benchmark for lots of golfers. We see these kind of actions. I see these kind of actions as well. And again, these encourage some pretty funky golf swings. So we can establish that we've got some good chain reactions in that takeaway position that might allow us to get into a better backswing position, which often encourages better downswings. And then in turn, you're hitting the ball now without having, out having to process a million ideas and thoughts and recoveries. You can kind of just let it go a little bit. So if we can get this backswing triggering better moves, it's literally the slowest part of your swing almost, certainly with the head of the club that you'll got a little bit of time to maybe persuade it into a, a correct position. And when I say a little bit of time, like it's minuscule amounts of time, but from there upwards, that thing is over without you realizing. Which in turn make these recoveries just super, super hard. So what I want you to do, and this is gonna address people who get the club more, say in this side, which is the bigger problem. You see a few out this way. Most people, common mistake is arms across, back uh, across your chest getting that club back early or hands out and then redirecting round with the hands adding loads of angles in early so we're going to reverse grip it so i want you to split your hands on the club so i've got my right hand my trail hand top of the grip lead hand my gloved hand just down touching the metal on the shaft here so it's a split hand grip and it's reverse so i have flip my hands around. Now with your hands in this reverse position, you might need to feel like you pick the club off the ground because your lead hand's so low, it'll get you stooped over. So try and retain some good levels of posture that you normally have. And what you're gonna do in this takeaway is try and keep the gloved hand for me, so my lead hand on top of trail hand. So I don't want them catching up with each other in these first stages. So to catch up, you'll really feel it. Any one of you who are going this way, you're really gonna feel that basically your trail hand almost push that handle out as the lead hand then just flicks back. I want you to feel that the lead hand feels like it's out in front, which to me, I say on top, it makes me feel like it's on top, not getting behind. But you could say from that camera, it looks more obviously like it's more below because this one is above. Let's say it's more outside of the trail hand, if you like, if that's the terminology that makes more sense. But we don't want it to stay there because otherwise we're gonna have the club out that way. So for the first couple of feet, I want this lead hand feeling like it's staying outside of trail. And then when you get halfway into your takeaway, so we're now say club pointing somewhere towards my tummy button here with the butt end of the club, we're halfway between start and parallel. Now we're gonna start getting the trail hand to just push that club back so they catch up. So it's really this trigger here at the beginning rather than the breakdown from the beginning that we're really trying to identify. You could also do it with one hand if that helps. You could push this handle down because the common problem is, is that people want to push that handle out and up. So I'm actually just pushing this down as I feel like I almost just pick this hand up a little bit 
to get it into this better position. Now, it's as simple as this. I mean, it's just a case of you doing enough reps of this to try and make sure that you get the feeling because there's the trick. You need to be able to do the abstract drill tip that I'm doing here, but then you've got to bleed it onto a shot. If you can't, then it's pointless. It's not doing anything. So if you do this and then you just simply can't replicate that in a swing, then look for a different drill. It's got to be able to work and process and make you think, oh yeah, look, I can really feel how that club's going more in my mind, almost this way to around rather than club back and handle out. Like make it identify the feeling you need so you can put it in when you're on the course and you're gonna play your shot. I mean, for me, I would be using it as a demo. You know, I would be doing my practice swings with it and then trying to walk in and hit that shot and basically replicate that feeling. What this does for lots of golfers is it makes them feel, so the feeling they often say they get from this, is that they're almost hinging the club up and out to start, so this way. Or they actually, some of them say they feel like they're going almost this way with the handle more when they do this drill because they're so used to going that way. So they feel like they're bringing it all back and almost for a few seconds a bit more in line before then rotating. Again, latching on to what makes sense in your mind in a field-based term is what will allow you to piece this drill together into shots to allow you to hit more targets and hopefully hit some better shots. Now look, if you want to go into more depth with the takeaway, make sure you sign up to my free newsletter, weekly, free, where we go into more depth about the whole golf swing, packed with loads of info, links down below. But if you want to just have a few more drills because this isn't really lighting your lemon and you think like your takeaway could still be better than this, this drill's really helping a lot of golfers get their takeaway exactly where they want to.